Welcome back. You're with us on uh, Closing Bell. Well, it is time for our special segment, D Street Chatter. Nimesh is here, as always, with all of that action. Nimesh, so a little disappointing for the bulls. I think central banks are now making people a little nervous about the way policy is going to go. But you tell us, so what's the chatter been like in the dealing rooms today? Hi, Sarvi. So the policy was a status quo, which was expected and it came on the expected line. So no big negative surprise, so to speak. I guess it's largely a consolidation within this large range between 18400 and 18800. While uh, the Nifty is down 70 odd points in today's trade, but even the feedback is there is no big panic selling, so to speak. In fact, uh, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you know if the numbers are on the positive side by the larger institutions. That's the overall feedback from the dealing rooms as well. I guess there are first signs of profit booking in the broader markets, but again, that's that's been seen as quite healthy because we've seen a one-way rally in, in many of those mid-cap and small-cap stocks. So some bit of profit booking or some bit of money taking out of the table is actually going to be healthy, so to speak. So even there, there is no big panic selling is the overall feedback. I guess two sectors which clearly deserves mention is metal names and the, uh, and the power sector stocks. Both have seen some bit of accumulation now and, and there is some, some bit of sector rotation as well from the larger distribution. So a net net uh, a consolidation day, uh, day of consolidation but uh, overall feedback is there is no panic selling. In fact, there is going to be buy flows from larger FIs. In terms of uh, individual stocks, what are you picking up, uh, Nimesh? Hi Prashant, so in terms of individual names, the first stock is Kotak Mahindra Bank. The stock is down almost 2.5% uh, at, at almost a day's low and there is a big indication that maybe a large block is going to come very soon. So uh, there is a large, private, a large FI holder who is likely to sell half of its holding and that's the reason why that stock is under pressure today. So that's, that's the first one, Kotak Mahindra Bank. The second stock is Met Plus. Even in Met Plus, the feedback is there's going to be a large block deal very, very soon and uh, one of the li leading private equity investors is likely to sell almost you know, two thirds of its stake uh, in, in Met Plus very soon. So that's the reason uh, that's coming to my chatter list. The third stock is Sri Renuka Sugar. It's marginally down in today's trade on the back of, uh, you know, a bit of profit booking in the broader markets. But for the last couple of days, some bit of H&I action seems to be back in, in this particular stock. And one of the reasons is maybe, you know, a large uh, private equity investor who hold a large chunk, that seems to be largely over. The selling pressure from that PE fund is largely over. And hence, it's come on the H&I radar. Uh, of late, so that's the third one, Renuka Sugars. And the last stock is really good. Again, this is one stock uh, not usually coming into my chatter list. For the first time in many days, many months actually, uh, some bit of buying interest from FI seems to be back in Delhi Gare. And hence, the volumes are going to be quite high in, in today's trade in Delhi Gare as well. Thank you very much uh, for that. Uh, let's uh, talk about IEX. The stock saw 